graphic extras. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the width profile or width tool in Illustrator CC. Now, I've just got a path here. Uh, it's just I've applied a stroke of 40. Now, if you want a variable width stroke, you can actually go to the width profile tool over here, width tool, and just click at any point along the path. I'm just going to select that and then just drag, just drag out. Just like that, so you can actually create a variable width for that path. Okay, now hold down the Option key or Alt on my Mac, and you can actually just modify one side of the path. So you can actually just reduce that down, so put it down to zero, even. You have that side like that. You modify the other side as well. modify it like that. Also you can actually go over there if you actually go to the point you can actually double click it and it will bring up a little dialogue width point edit and you can actually modify that separately just like that or obviously click there to link the two so you can just modify that. For some weird reason that's side one and the other side is side two. Personally I think that should be side one and that's side two but anyway depends which way you're looking at the uh, thing. Also, you can modify the total width. So you can just span that out. Add two together, comes to 125. Also, you can adjust the adjoining width points. So if you actually modify it, you can actually modify it. It's not very helpful when there's only one. So I'm just gonna go there, just select another one. And just double click that just a join in so you can actually modify both you actually see that will increase as well as that increases that reduces down as well also you can delete so if you don't want that point you can actually just delete it just by going there delete removes that quickly also you can actually go over to the points and you actually can move that down up and down so if you actually just want, don't want it up there, you can actually move it all the way down there just by just dragging it down like that. So I'm now put, add another one, so I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so you've actually, once you've done that, you've decided that's the width profile you want for that path. You can actually go over here and you can actually go add to profiles. Just click there, width profile. And you will notice actually over here the stroke size. Now, personally, I think that that stroke size should actually just have a word variable in it, but uh, the 100 there, the 100 setting, 100 setting is actually the maximum distance both sides. So you've actually got there, there, it's going to be 100. So if you actually go to one of these points, you can actually see 100.352 will actually be the same there. Okay, so that's, uh, but of course, if you actually decide, well, I want to use that width profile, but now I want to actually use it with 12. Obviously, the profile is still there, but it's obviously each of these points have been reduced down by that percentage. So you've actually still got the width profile, just doesn't look so effective when it's not 100. So put it back to 100, and you've got the width profile as before. So you can reduce it down, see 10 points, 18 points. 60 points and you can still see the width profile and of course you can if you decide you don't want those ones you can actually go and select other profiles that actually come with or ones that I've previously created now one tool that's actually quite useful for creating width profiles and width profiles that are symmetrical and that's one of these ones and I'm just going to quickly go and show you that I'm just going to go here just select and I've got mirror tool and the mirror tool is from astute graphics and i'm just gonna just drag down that point so i've actually got applied selection apply to layer right don't want to do it applied selection so now i've actually got both sides and i'm actually just going to work in this area over here this area is untouched until i actually change something here so i'm just going to now go over to the width profile again or width tool 
I'm just going to modify point there and you'll see immediately that's reflected up here as well so just gonna do another one and there and there and there okay so you've actually now got a quick and easy way of creating symmetrical width profiles just by using the astute graphic mirror me plugin tool and again of course you can actually go here and you can save it you reset profiles if you wish as well as well as delete them so i'm just going to add that profile click ok and there it is okay i hope you found this a uh, quick run through of the width tool of interest